today, confidence is going to be key. Birds flying high. Sun in the sky, sun in the sky. You know how I feel. Birds flying high. Going to a show today. It is currently quarter past six, and it's really light actually. I'm quite impressed with how light it is. I'm going to Kiso for some dressage, and the forecast is hail showers. Oh, I can't wait. Kengho, as you can imagine, not a huge fan of a hail shower. Uh, so yeah, this could be. A total, total catastrophe. So while the horses are eating, I'm just going to spend five minutes getting all my stuff ready. I rode Kenko in a different bit yesterday. In a, like a loose ring job. Hated it. Well, I say it, I, I did not she did. I found it made a really good difference in her frame it helped her to not be so deep but she was also incredibly reactive so whether it was the bit the weather I don't know but I was having some training and it was difficult again confidence was required so I am going to take her other old bit this one uh, with me today if I warm up the first test and it is a catastrophe which is not impossible I will change her bit so this isn't so fantastic I've just discovered my white numner is uh, not clean so in the wash it goes a quick one <laughs> just got a tumble dryer and get it dry again Tupperware. That's my tip. So in my Tupperware I've got a stock, gloves, a bundle of hair accoutrements. And you always know it's in the same place. As long as you're as long as you're good at putting it back, that is. Which sometimes I'm not. In my bag I have got Tupperware, show jacket, a pair of uh, soundproof ears just in case uh, some tack soap what else have I got a sponge a cloth two bridal numbers to go on her saddle pad and my hat that's pretty vital <laughs> gotta get the yard done first and plat and leave for about half past eight never up never down never like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be She wears ears when I compete, soundless ones, to help her with her reactive lifestyle. So I just plait her forelock like a normal plait. I don't worry about doing a fancy French plait, because well, I don't need to. Plaited, and now we've just got to thread them. They're all a bit of a funny size, but I think that's just how it goes. I bet this is really far too close. Mm -hmm. She's like watching her leave her stable, like, are you go where are you going? Are you gonna be okay? Do you need me to come with you? <laughs> She's gonna have a baby soon. You're gonna be on your own when that happens. Okay. They look quite good actually. I'm always surprised at myself if they look smart. Is that bad? Very little self belief apparently. Right, but I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do. Never thought I would jump, oh what a fool.
saw this in the shop yesterday and it helps them with their salivation which often Kenko isn't very good at and it's good for their tummy so let's see if she likes it. Try it. You might like it. That's a no from her. Do you want it? Grumpy old thing? Okay, great. Okay, so no one wants it. This is great. Obi, last attempt. There. Uh. Fantastic. Fantastic. That is really bloody superb. Our chariot has arrived. Come on, little horse. Come on then. Let's go do some dressage. We have arrived. Um, oh, it's not going well. I just tipped a couple of tea down the front of the lorry. And I said I wasn't going to tell anyone that because they wouldn't know, but now everybody knows, so that's great. I've dropped my headphone. Oh, it's all going wrong. I hope this isn't going to be that the way that today goes because it's going to be a long day otherwise. Honestly, I just shut the door with this and just pulled it clean off. This is not going well. Hi, cute little dog. Oh, you nasty thing. So we've got 10.52 and 11.15, so. I won't even get off in between, which is quite interesting. Here it is. Things look relatively well weighed down, which I think is important in this terrible weather. Trying to fly cause I'm light as a feather. But I can't hide, I can't low at the same time. Camera's getting wet. Everything is getting wet. I want you, we can bring it down the floor. Never dance like this before.
want you We can bring it down the floor Never danced like this before We don't talk about it It's come on Do the boogie all night long Shown in paradise Shouldn't talk about it I want you We can bring it down the floor Never danced like this before We don't talk about it just going to sort the horses out and take my boots off and there's like my boots I'm not going to take my boots off a bit disappointed I think I don't know it's the thing about dressers is you just don't know until it's over and then it's over where's that going in the front put it in the front you just don't know if the judge liked it and because I'm riding a pony against all these big fancy warm bloods of which there were a number it's really hard because you just you just don't know if they're going to like it and she was really tense in the canter, which is always the woo, which is really annoying because the sand hits the boards and she poops herself. But maybe she didn't notice because she didn't notice me halt, do my salute. So maybe she wasn't looking when I spoke. So apparently she did watch my final uh, salute because I got a seven. So that was very good. I'm actually really pleased. I came first and second in my sections. I'm just doing a debrief, Tom. Thank you. Uh, I came first and second in my section in both tests. In the second test, I got two five and a half. One, because she disappeared off the long side, down the long side at high speed, not doing medium canter. And the other one, because apparently I didn't give a give and retake. Given Rita yesterday, my lesson was a little bit patchy, so that does make sense. I'm really pleased with her, actually, and her general way of going was really good um, all the usual comments needs more freedom in her movement but lots of sevens some seven and a half in my first test which I was really pleased with that's a nice results so not terrible so we're gonna go home now and do everything else it is pissing with rain it has been pissing with rain for quite a while so yeah that's dressage off we go on to the next one so Tanya just said something funny. What did you say, Tanya? Tell us again. What, what? are you about to do? What am I about to do? <laughs> so because Tanya rides a big fluffy cob, and sometimes it's really difficult when you ride a cob, as it is like when you ride a pony, she has taken to the habit of writing down the names of the judges that like her. So and today, her score. And her score. And my score. Yeah, I have. I have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just to prove it. That lady likes you very, very nice and fair, it says. <laughs> Amazing. Did we shut the back doors of the lorry? I can see, it's all good. I think Kinko might be asleep. Kinko, I'm on. We're gonna move now. Don't get scared. Look at those DO double G's, aren't they the cutest? I can't see shit out of back this lorry. Sorry, I'm just gonna get wet for a second. Just checking this out, this one's a bit so busy. Perfect. That went really well. I think it's wet on the inside. Anyway, off we go. Home, homeward bound. Oh, look at Benny doll. Just fell in a puddle. <laughs> Stepped out of the lorry and fell in a puddle. I'm just going to open the tack room. Oh, good, the drain's blocked. My absolute favourite. Very thirsty. Let's take those beautiful plats out. They look good like that, don't they? My little, little thing. You're clever. You did win. You did. You win your section. Clever little thing. Not easy against them big flashy warm bloods and little short legs you got. Next order of business. Unblock the drain. Oh, the glamour. Literally, in my white breeches as well. I might put my tracksuit bottoms back over the top just to keep my legs from getting completely covered in shit. Here, guys. It might be really simple, but it also might not be. Let's hope for really simple. So here we have the problem. Little puddle. Got my marigolds on. Okay. It's actually blocked. That is a job for the uh, drain men. 
these two have been out while we were out it wasn't meant to rain little one look at you i think we should give you a little bit of love let's tie him up here next to her i think we should give you a little wash <coughs> let's give you you're soaking wet so you might as well give you a bath hi while you he's got to have his little teeth done today this is finley He's seven, actually, but he's not broken in because he was a rescue. So they've been spending some time just making him a bit more handled. But ch -ch 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 -ch. he's a bit on the anxious side. That was a bit dramatic. We need to give Finley some sedlin because he was really anxious with the dentist yesterday. So we wanted to give him a bit of sedlin so that he was able to do his teeth because his teeth are very sharp and they need doing before I can start riding him. Just stands on his back legs. But lots of that business. So we're going to give him a bath because he's really wet anyway uh, and make him feel a bit nice in his body at least. And. Uh, Hopefully Martin can do his teeth, because we managed to give him some in the end in a carrot. We've never had to do that, but uh, he's just worried. He's not naughty, he's just really worried. He was um, he was saved from the abattoir as a foal, which is so sad. But at least he was rescued. So I think he'll be a really lovely little pony, but he's just a bit troubled, as they often are when they've been rescued. So we'll do our best. He seems quite like having a nice warm bath, so that's something. <laughs> zoom. Can we zoom in on his teeth? Oh, wowzers. Really sharp, you can see he's biting. Oh yeah, and he's bitten his cheek. Yeah. Oh, poor little chap. Oh, we'll be able to make him much more comfy. Good boy. And will I be all right to get started with him tomorrow? Yeah. Now I've got to ride the little bugger. I hope it doesn't stand on its back legs when I try and ride it. Did that a lot. Here we are, all the time, grazing the horse. Very boring. So this is the leg update. Can't even see the bump. So that's really positive. I actually don't think we've got very long left. Yeah, for me, I'm really pleased with today. Really positive. She felt great, you know. I think it's so important when we go and compete that we are on our own journey as much as that day because it's not actually relevant what everybody else does. Okay, it's really great to have a rosette and it's great to be there to compete and to try and, you know, win, of course. But also, it is so important to think about where we've come from, you know, because the last show was diabolical. We galloped off sideways across the middle of the arena. So although today wasn't a day of big scores, for me it was a day of real consistency and a real uh, sort of show of what is to come. It's hard getting slightly lower scores than you think you deserve. That is how it is. You Sometimes it's, it is subjective. So, what? Okay. Uh, so it's important to keep remembering that. Really pleased with her bridal. Really pleased with how she maintained herself in the bad weather and in the new arena that's very spooky. We're going to finish the yard up and that's that. First, grass. Very important. Little winner, would you like some dinner? <laughs> winner, winner, chaff for dinner. Uh, excuse me, would you like to come and have a little bath, please? Dirty little hound. Top tip, wash your dogs regularly, just with no soap, mane and tail. Straight on, straight after. Spritz the dog, comme ça. And then when they dry, they are silky smooth. 
and they smell great. She loves it. Don't you, Lexi? It's her dog perfume, isn't it? Ready for a night out. Dog perfume. Good girl. Home time. And then come back to do late check because it is five o'clock. So I won't leave them for the night now. I will come back later, but I won't bother showing you guys because you just don't care. Uh, so yeah, that is the end of today's vlog. Um, in summary, I got up very early. I did win some rosettes. Things could have been better in that department, but I'm really pleased with the horse, which is the most important thing. And uh, yeah, so if you liked it, hit like. If you'd like to share it with your mates, please do. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my, well, follow me on Instagram, at Mary Hackett, if you like chicken stories on a daily basis. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Love you, bye. I'm gonna go out there,